Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. Today's video is another hair care related topic, I guess you could say. Last week I shared some thoughts with you about how I achieved what I would consider the best hair of my life. So just some tips, tricks, some things that I've been doing for the last several years that I noticed have made a big difference in my hair in terms of the overall health of my hair, um, how healthy it looks, um, how it feels, um, how I was able to actually grow it past like my collarbone because for the longest time, like my hair would just, it would just break off all the time. I'm not terribly surprised at how terrible my hair used to be in terms of its condition just because honestly in my 20s and even my early 30s like I just did whatever I wanted to my hair and I never gave it a second thought I would never really use um heat protectant products when I would blow dry or curl or crimp my hair I would use all sorts of drying hairsprays. Um, I would brush my hair really aggressively. I just, I don't know, either I didn't care or I just didn't think about it or I, I just didn't wanna think about it, but my hair was in rough shape for a number of years. Now, when I decided to go gray, I had a little bit of a mindset shift and thought, you know what, if I'm gonna have this gray hair, I really need to take care of it properly. And so that was really when I started, you know, researching hair care a little bit more and testing different products on my hair that I've never tested before to see if they could benefit me. And um, I feel like I've got a really good system down. I feel like I always have to mention this in my hair related videos because there are a lot of people who are new to my channel or people who have been here for a little while. And a lot of you guys think that I color my hair this gray shade. This is my natural hair color. I have bad genetics. <laughs> this has nothing to do with me wanting to be like chic or, you know, fashion forward, avant-garde, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just went gray very early in life and I got tired of covering it up. That's, that's what this is. Um, I love it. Um, I actually find it quite empowering and I love it when other women are inspired to decide to go gray after watching my videos. That honestly is one of like the things that makes me the happiest. But I also understand that there is a lot of women out there for who gray hair is, um, that can be a tough thing, right? Like mentally, it can be hard to embrace the gray if you just are not ready to maybe come to terms with, you know, where we're all going, which is aging. We're all getting old. <laughs> We're all gonna be there at some point, you know. Um, some of us just kind of embrace it at different stages and there's certain things about aging that I really embrace heavily and there are other things where I'm just like, ah, if I could slow this down just a little bit, that'd be great. So anyway, in today's video, I actually do have some product suggestions for you guys. As someone who has naturally fine, thin gray hair, my goal in this video is to give you some recommendations for heat protectants that you can use on that specific hair type and not have your hair feel weighed down. Um, and these products all work really well with a variety of styling, other styling products that I use, such as mousse, volumizers, um, hair powders, things like that. Um, some of these things are not going to be new because I have mentioned them so many times before and I'm going to actually start with my holy grails and then I'm going to get into a few new products that I have tested over the last probably six to eight months um, and just let you know some thoughts on some newer products. We're kind of at mostly a high-end price range, but I don't think any of these are much more than like $30, $35. Um, so I would consider that kind of a mid-range price point considering what I have purchased from, you know, companies like Obagi and Moroccan Oil in the past, like their products are a little bit more expensive than that. So at any rate, let's get started with my two holy grails. You guys have heard me talking about these two specific leave-in products for a number of years. They're not gonna come as a surprise for you. The first one is my beloved Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. This does, um, it basically says it has 21 like essential benefits for the hair. I'm not gonna read through all of them. I'm just gonna give you guys like a few of them here. 
So this um, helps to detangle the hair, it makes blow drying easier, it moisturizes dry hair, it helps smooth hair fibers, it weightlessly conditions, it protects against heat damage, it helps protect from external aggressors, it smooths out the hair surface, it creates silkiness, um, controls frizz, reduces static, adds shine. So this is a really wonderful lightweight um, spray, although I tend to not spray leave-ins in my hair. What I will do is I will spray them into the palm of my hand and then distribute them through my hair that way. I typically start at the ends and focus the bulk of the product there, but I also take it all the way up to my scalp and um, I even massage a lot of these leave-ins into my scalp as well. I wouldn't recommend that with every single leave-in only because um, I feel like some of them can be a little bit heavier. Um, for example, the Drunk Elephant, I would not do that with that one, but the Ceremonia, I take all the way up to my scalp. But anyway, this one here smells amazing. I have used it for, I mean, I don't even know how many years. It's at least been eight years that I've been purchasing this. I purchased it again and again, just to show you proof. Yeah, I love this product. I always have at least two backups of it so that if I happen to run out of something in the bathroom, I can immediately come in here and know that I have them on hand. So I buy them when they're on sale <laughs> and I just keep them on hand. So, so good. I cannot say enough good things about this particular product. And the second one, which you can see, I also just tend to buy in bulk when on sale. A lot of times this is part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. What is this? Let's discuss. It's the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. 10 in one complete correction leave-in. Um, so yeah, a lot of times this is part of like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty or Ulta hair events. And when it's on sale, your girl just buys at least a couple of them. So this again adds moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, softness, UV protection, heat protection, light hold, anti-breakage, strength manageability. This is more of a cream type format, but it's a really lightweight, almost like a lightweight lotion type feel. Again, I concentrate this mostly on like mid shaft to ends, but I will also bring this up to like, not necessarily quite the roots, but I try to make sure to get it throughout the bulk of my hair. It has never weighed my hair down. It provides that real nice, softness to the hair that even when I'm done blow drying, I can run my fingers through my hair and it just feels silky. It looks hydrated. Um, I know that I didn't do as much damage with the hair dryer because I put this in my hair. Um, and all of these products I'm recommending here, they all are excellent heat protection products. So now that we have the two holy grails out of the way, let's discuss a few that are somewhat newer to me that I also, also think are a fantastic option for those of you that have more of my hair type. Now, I think if you have thicker hair, you can also still use these. Um, I just, my intention here is to specifically recommend products to those who struggle with hair that gets weighed down easily, just because that tends to be my issue. But I think if you have a thicker hair type, you could also use these because they just work well on dry hair. You might need to use more than I use, but anyway, let's get going with this one here. I really, really have enjoyed this particular Leave-in, this is the Ceremonia, which is a newer, somewhat newer brand at Sephora. I picked this up last November during the Rouge sale that was happening. Um, and this is a UV and heat protective detangler. It's their Guava Rescue Spray. And it's 6.7 ounces, and I'm pretty sure this one is under $30. Now, there is one thing that irritates me about this, and it is the dispenser. It's a spray but it just comes out really slow. It is um, a really nice lightweight lotion. Can you see that kind of just running around? You can see how thin that is. So it really does a great job of um, like distributing evenly throughout the hair. What I will do is I used to just like pump it into my hands, but such a small amount comes out of this pump that lately I have basically just been opening it and pouring like, uh, I would say a nickel sized amount into the palm of my hand and then again, 
distribute that product evenly and then work it throughout the hair. This one I do take all the way up to the scalp because it has that really light uh, lotiony texture. Some things to know here. So this is a clean brand at Sephora, if that matters to you at all. They are vegan. They're definitely cruelty free. I don't necessarily look for vegan products per se, but I do require that the companies that I shop with are cruelty free. Um, this again is a heat protectant. It detangles, it provides UV damage protection. It strengthens the hair, it hydrates the hair. And the key ingredients in here are avocado oil, you have guava, as well as blue agave. So a really neat new brand to Sephora. I actually want to try a little bit more from Ceremonia. Um, I got to give you guys the, um, the fragrance. This has a beautiful kind of perfumey, cozy floral. This just smells really, really pretty. It's a really beautiful scent. Honestly, if this were available in like a personal fragrance, like a body spray, I, I would totally wear this as a fragrance. Now, does the fragrance linger in your hair? No, like it basically dissipates after, after I'm done like blow drying my hair, I cannot smell it in my hair at all. But when I'm first applying it, it smells like a million bucks. I really think this one is worth a try, you guys. I hope that they can potentially maybe just put this into like a pump type format. Um, just because, yeah, th this sprayer, is it's not great. So other than that, it's a fantastic product. I really think it's worth checking out, you guys. The next one I'm going to share is one that I think would actually also be really good for those of you with really dry, really coarse hair. I have to be a little bit careful with the amounts that I use here, but man, this is a fabulous product. It took me a really long time to try the Drunk Elephant hair care products. I came across them on Skeepers, so I was able to try them via Skeepers. And I think I'm kind of hooked, especially on this product here. This is the Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan Silk Amino Conditioning Leave-In Milk. Um, so this one here is uh, what they call a styling milk. It is a little bit of a thicker texture for sure. Um, but it does still spread very easily in the hair. Um, it provides heat protection, it strengthens, it smooths, it moisturizes, it helps to rebuild the hair bonds. Um, it contains hydrolyzed silk, silk amino acids, and silk saracen, um, as well as vanilla fruit extract, which is not only an antioxidant, but it also has scalp calming benefits. So if you can manage to like put this one on your scalp and feel like it doesn't weigh your hair down, this is a really nice one to give yourself a scalp massage with. Um, I will sometimes do that at night with this and then in the morning I just wash my hair. It's really nice. As far as the fragrance goes, um, I was really hoping I would be able to smell that vanilla fruit extract in here. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a scent to me at all. And I have a pretty solid, I mean, I have a bloodhound sniffer. Like I can usually smell like anything <laughs> if there's fragrance within a product. And I really cannot detect it in here. It's quite lovely in that respect, I think. So if you are not much of a fragrance person when it comes to hair care products, um, this so far what I've tried from this line has actually been pretty unfragranced. And while I don't personally enjoy that, I know there are some of you out there who need that. So if you want a fragrance, mostly fragrance-free hair care line, this might be one worth checking out. This one is really, really great. Um, and then the other one that I wanted to share is the JVN Complete Instant Recovery Serum. So this is from John Jonathan Van Ness, his hair care line. And this one's interesting because it comes in a tub like this. I am more than halfway done with this one. I felt like it has taken me forever just to even get to the halfway point with this one because you need like such a small amount. So this one is nice because again, it has like, since I was able to just scoop that out, it has like this nice, really nice lightweight lotion-y type texture. Um, it actually like when you put it on your skin, this one smells really good too. It, this one has a little bit more of like a natural scent to it really light really clean like a clean fresh scent but you can feel it even on your skin that it's not sticky and it really like distributes wonderfully 
So this contains an ingredient called hemisqualane. I love squalane for my skin. That is my, I do, I do still use facial oils. I, don't, I realize a lot of people don't, but I still love the Biosense squalane oil. It mimics the skin's natural oils, I think the most, um, at least in terms of oils like argon, maracuja, cacay. I mean, you know, do we all remember the oil craze? Um, but yeah, so um, this one here provides not only the heat protection, it provides straightening, smoothing, uh, it helps to repair damage, it's going to help the look of split ends as well as help prevent breakage. It's got that hemisqualane, which I mentioned, as well as niacinamide, which actually I didn't know this, but when it comes to hair, um, niacinamide can help to support the keratin, which that's what this is. Um, it also contains charged lemon protein as well. Um, again, it's a vegan and cruelty-free brand. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is that it's, it's a glass jar. I do get a little nervous with this one sometimes when I'm doing my hair because my hands are like, you know, in and out of my hair, which is wet. Um, by the way, I actually apply my leave-in immediately after getting out of the shower. Um, when my hair is still quite wet, I find that that helps to seal the moisture in. And then I basically just um, kind of pile it on top of my head with just a little clip to secure it. Then I do my skincare, my makeup, and then after that, um, my hair is pretty dry. And then I go into the bathroom and I go in with the rest of my styling products and I blow dry what is left, which by that point for me, because my hair is so fine and thin, it really doesn't take it long to dry at all. My hair dries incredibly quickly just by air drying. So I love putting this in right after getting out of the shower. Um, I can't remember where I heard that trick. It was a while ago on a channel here on YouTube. It's a man, he's a hairstylist, and for the life of me, I cannot remember his name. I'm not subscribed, but I keep coming across his videos periodically, and if I can find it, I will go ahead and put his channel name, uh, like Professor Blowout or something like that. I, it's something Blowout. Um, but anyway, I heard about that on his channel, but I've also kind of just known for a while that it's, you know, like like you're supposed to lotion up your skin prior to you know drying off with your towel um same idea for your hair basically just lock that moisture in from your shower but this is great with the exception of it being in this particular format again having anything glass just makes me nervous because i'm clumsy um i do just want to mention this really quickly now this is not a recommendation for those of you with fine thin hair like mine this was sent to me as pr and i tried it but it was just a bit too much this is the pacifica coco bond damage care leave-in mask if you have more hair than me you have thick luxurious gorgeous locks first of all how lucky are you second of all this is going to be much more to your liking it's a heavier product and it'll probably give you a much more intense intense moisture surge um, than maybe even what i necessarily need but it's affordable and it's a pretty decent size of four ounces um, and if you have shorter hair you won't need very much at all um, so that's a good product and then i just want to say oh i hate when things get discontinued i actually took this to canada with me i've kind of been saving it for a while and then i was like i just need to use it this was um from i believe this was a, like um a brand underneath alterna this was the professional hair styling bamboo anti-breakage thermal protectant um yeah this was discontinued and it bums me out because one i love I love the smell of this one, but I also really like the heat protection from this one. It's a little bit heavier than the other ones, but for whatever reason, I still have loved this for so many years. And then I think it was discontinued back in 2020. So oh, I hate that. Uh, if you use this and you found something that is cruelty free and similar, uh, will you let me know what, what you went to? I mean, obviously I, I have things that I love. It's not like I need to like cry over this, but yeah, that's another reason why sometimes I buy multiples of the things that I really love because I'm afraid of this happening and it did. It's my last one. So 
it'll be fine. All right, you guys, let me know your top leave-in recommendations in the comments down below. Check the description box. I'm going to be linking all of these for you down there. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you being here. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you uh, in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!